Hello. I took a tour around the exhibition hall and they call it a hall for a reason. Here's all the things that I picked up. <laughs> so let's start off with the bag. Hello bag. This is a Bedford St. Martin's tote bag. It's like gray. Actually, it's nice. It has like little flecks of color in there. It's pretty. It's made from recycled cotton. So here's my haul. I only bought two of these things and they're at the bottom of the bag because I bought them first. I saw at W.W. Norton and Company and I got <laughs> these seagull greeting cards. I really just wanted one, but I have a whole pack of them now. They're cute. And then I got their catalog, their comp rep catalog for the year. It's cute as well. And then I got not one, not two, but three books for first year writing courses. So the first one I got is They Say, I Say. Excuse the shrink wrap. Really cool. I'll be really excited to look into all of these and see if any of them are applicable to my course that I'll be teaching over the summer. They all will be. Um, and then after that, I got Everyone's an Author. I've been told that this one is really accessible. Uh, someone in the panel that I went to this morning even mentioned this one, I think. I, even, I think I wrote it down in my bullet journal as something to buy. Um, and, you know, it's huge, so that's nice. Yeah, it's over a thousand pages long. Um, and it has readings in it, which is super helpful because I'm about to start a course and I don't have any readings chosen. Yeah, this looks like it's going to have a lot of stuff that's going to be useful. Love that. Then I got, excuse the shrink wrap again, the Norton Field Guide to Writing with Readings. This one looked really nice because um, there were lists of readings based on subtopic in there as well. And I saw one related to the environmental humanities. So that's all I got from W.W. Norton and company. Then oh, I had to put my bullet journal in here because I was carrying too, many, too much stuff. Too much stuff, not enough space. Who published this? Who are you? I don't even know. There was like a book section. Um, there were a lot of book sections, but this one in particular was just, it looked like a typical little book booth, but it said, oh, for conference, proceedings, each copy, each book is $5. There were like $27 books in there for $5. So I took this as an opportunity to buy myself some poetry because lately I have been doing, some of my self dates or solo dates have been just picking up a poetry collection, sitting down, reading it, drinking some tea under a nice little blanket. And I've really, really liked having that time to myself so I bought two because they were only five dollars. Um, the first one is 10 Bridges I've Burnt and from what I've previewed so far the diction style is kind of like Tommy Pico but it's less directly ecological. It looks really good. And then the next one is Silver. And honestly, don't judge a book by its cover, but I did, and I thought that this was so gorgeous. Um, and this is just another short collection. I like that it's hardbound though, it makes it feel really fancy. Let me read you a piece from Silver by Rowan Ricardo Phillips. This is Biographia Literaria. Okay, ready? To write with your reading mind, to read with your writing mind, to be bottomless, atemporal, absent of hierarchy, and just. To keep yourself honest, to keep yourself fictive. To know deep in your heart that every poem has already been written. To know that poetry, like the universe itself, began with the smallest particle, the syllable, expanding and contracting through time. To live a little, to die often. To accept that poetry is older than reflux, that it predates intention, and that is the breath your breath takes before you breathe. Oh, I love it. 
So those are the two that I bought. And then I walked up to the, who's the publisher? I think it was the HarperCollins booth. And it was like, um, three books free, pick three books. And it was another book booth that was completely lined and filled with books. So I had to be like, oh, I don't know. So the first one that I picked up was how to read nonfiction like a professor. Cause I really liked how to read like a professor a few years ago. Um, and so I think that this will be helpful in teaching my students this summer. And it's cute, so love that. Next, I got, this one was just huge and I felt like I could not pass it up. Like, look at this thing. Are you kidding me? This is almost 600 pages long. This is crazy. This is the best American essays of the century. And if I don't like it, I know Nathan will like it, so. That's lovely. And then the last thing that I got is a very practical <laughs> getting from college to career. Because, you know, as a literary scholar. So, that's my haul. It's a big haul. Yep, that was good. Sign, sealed, delivered. Thanks for tuning in. I'll keep you updated. <laughs>